Oh, there's a big, big lie going around the online business world that I'm seeing all the time right now. And it's all about authenticity. If you believe this lie, you are losing tens of thousands of dollars. Like, so if you're an online coach, especially, if you've got a program that's 5K and you could be signing up one person a week and you're losing that person or you're losing one person a week because of this, that's 250 grand a year, a quarter of a million that you're throwing away every year if you believe this lie. So what's the lie? Well, it's the belief that all you've got to do is just show up and be your authentic self and people will magically just buy your stuff. And this does not work. I don't know where this came from. I don't know if this is like um, a response to all like the sleazy selling of the 80s and 90s. And now people are like, I don't want to be a sleazy salesperson, so I'll be authentic. I don't know if it comes from people like Gary V, who are like every video of his, he's talking to some 17 year old. He's like, hey, Gary, you're my hero. How do I sell t-shirts in my new t-shirt business? And Gary's like, well, bro, no, he, forget, he seems to forget he's 42 or whatever. Hey, well, bro, you need bro to be authentic, bro. You need to be on all 25 social media platforms, bro, and post 55 pieces of content every day, bro, and just be authentically you. Be authentic. Just be authentic, bro, and the money will come. And I'm like, no, it won't. It won't. It simply won't come. Um, because I'm not so, – I'm going to explain what you need to do instead. But – I don't want you to misunderstand me here. I'm not saying that authenticity isn't important. I'm not saying that you need to be fake instead. I'm just saying it's quite far down the list in terms of importance of what you're selling and whether someone's going to buy your thing. Uh, the number one thing that determines whether someone's going to sign up with you or not is do they believe you can either help them get out of some sort of pain or help them achieve some sort of benefit that they really want right now? That is number one. So when I see people posting on their feeds and they're posting all this like authentic stuff, like you need to be the change you want to see in the world. You need to be grateful. You need to take responsibility for everything that's going on in your life. I call it entry level self-development stuff. I've got the cats here. If you see, I've got the cats here growling at each other. Um, uh, probably a common one I'm seeing right now, like, um, like online cliche is people saying things like, don't compare your life to everyone else's highlight reel on Facebook. People just post their highlight reels on Facebook. If you compare your life to that, then, you know, you're going to be sad. Just be you. Blah, blah, blah. That's an online cliche right now as well. I'm seeing that everywhere. If you just post high-level stuff like that, then you're not going to get any clients. You're just not. Um, you'll get people liking your stuff. You'll get like 10, 12 likes every post. And a couple of people be like, oh, yeah, completely agree. Yeah, yeah, you need to be grateful. But you're not going to sign up any clients. So what you need to do instead is to show your potential prospects, okay, these are the results I can get for you. So example, recent client, Joanna, she joined me just over two weeks ago. And she came to me and she helps people with Pinterest. And she came to me and she's like, I'm posting content like three times a day, but I'm not getting any clients. And I looked at her content and it was all this kind of, it was either high level, be authentic, be grateful stuff, or it was like really detailed Pinterest, how to repin and whatever. Um, so the first thing we did, and this is the first thing I do with every client. So we sat down and I said, okay, what do you do? What is your offer? Uh, what results do you get for people? How do you do that? Um, and this is like an hour and a half long chat. And then I distilled it into the following story. So Joanna, like a few years ago, she saw a story about some girl who was earning 100K a month from her blog. And she's like, whoa, I'd like to do that. So she looked at it in more detail. It turned out the, the girl was getting all the traffic from Pinterest. So she, Joanna set up a Pinterest account and she took some online courses that didn't work. And it was all like ridiculous advice. And it's like, how can this work? So she's like, I'm going to figure this out myself. And she tried to view through a few things. And then she stumbled over what is now her CGMA method. And she got 10K targeted visitors in the first month. And now she's getting 30K a month. And now she shows people how to get um, 10K targeted visitors every month from Pinterest within six weeks. And once you've done the initial setup after six weeks, you don't have to touch it again. It's all set and forget. That's her offer right now. And for the last two weeks, I've been showing her how to post about it on Facebook. So she posts stuff about, uh, the other thing is most of her content was aimed at people already using Pinterest. And I said to her, those are not your customers. What you need to be doing is aiming at people like me who don't understand Pinterest. We don't even have a Pinterest account. What I thought Pinterest was, was like when I was getting married last year, my wife sent me pictures of like wedding decorations or we need a new dining room table, let's look on Pinterest. Or, um, um, I don't know, pictures of cute bunnies and cats or whatever. That's what I thought Pinterest was when really 
Uh, turns out that there's loads of people searching on there uh, for like, you know, how online business tips and stuff. So her audience is people like me who don't have an account, who don't understand it's necessary. And her job is to educate people like me who've got, already got a successful online business in that I could use Pinterest to get 10,000 extra visitors a month without much effort and then convince them that she can do the job. So now her content is all about showing how Pinterest works in this way. You know, why are you wasting your time on Facebook with all the competition when you could be using Pinterest? Um, here's some of the results I get for people. Um, here's some of the results I get for myself. Stories around that sort of thing and educating people into going from one way of thinking to the other rather than just giving out endless tips and advice and be grateful, all that sort of stuff. Hoping that people would see the be grateful stuff and the wise advice and be like, she's so wise, I need to take a course. Never ever works. Never ever put out content in the hope that people are going to think this person is so wise and you know uh, knowledgeable. I'm going to give them money. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So stop doing that. If you've been putting content out for longer than two weeks and you don't have leads in your inbox and you're not signing people up, you're doing it wrong. So for the last two weeks she's been doing this. Uh, yesterday she messaged me and said, "Can we have a quick call today? Because I've got 62 leads in my inbox overnight and I'm a bit overwhelmed. I don't know how to deal with them all." So we had a quick call, went through them all, and said, like, "Okay, here's what to do." Um, she's already signed up one person at 5K. She's got a bunch more who are like, "I want to start in January." And I'll be amazed if she doesn't make at least 30 or 40K, maybe more in the next month, because she's got so many great leads, she's got a great offer, and people are like, okay, I get this now, I need this. Whereas beforehand, it was just tips and advice, which just blurs into the nothingness. So that is what you need. If you're a coach, consultant, whatever, that is what you need. You need that clear offer, you need that, okay, people being able to quickly understand this is the benefit I get for you if you enroll in my program, rather than high-level tips and advice that nobody gives a shit about. <clears throat> so, example, my offer, uh, the ecosystem, it's 42 days to 100K. So if you're not in 100K a year or more right now, well, the ecosystem will get you there in 42 days. Really clear benefit, clear offer. But is your offer clear or are you just posting endless tips? Um, if you're not sure what your benefit is, if you're not sure what your offer is, well, that's where I help. That's literally the first thing we do when you come to me. I go, okay, this is what your offer is. This is what you're going to be selling. This is how we're going to put content out. It's like the foundations that your entire house is built on. If you don't have these foundations set up, you're going to try and put loads of content out, like putting the bricks down. It's just going to sink. You're going to be like everyone else who's putting out endless content onto Facebook and getting zero traction. Or you can put the right content out to the right people and start signing people up. And by the new year, you could be like, signed up a bunch of people, be making a good amount of money and be like, 2020 is going to be my best year ever. Uh, you can either quit your day job or if you're doing this full time already, you can be like, instead of being, oh, where's the next client coming from, you know, just about getting by, you can start thriving. You can take the family on a holiday and fly first class. You can buy yourself some clothes, a car, whatever. Uh, give money to charity, whatever you want to do, start putting money away, investing it, and start living really well in 2020 instead of going, oh, well, I'm just going to keep on putting content out for another year and fingers crossed it works. It's not going to work unless you've got this clear strategy. So if you want that same results, if you want similar results to what Joanna got, uh, she's now signed up clients after two weeks with me and loads and loads of inquiries when she had nothing before, then send me a message. Or you can do what a lot of people do, which is they see this and be like, I really need Rich's help, but I don't want to invest in a program. I want to save my money. I want to hold on to it. And you get stuck. You stay where you are and you don't progress. Or you can be like, have a brain and be like, well, in order to progress from where I am and start making sales and start talking to my audience, now people recognize what I do and want to give me money. There's a gap between where I am now and where I need to be. In order to bridge that gap, I need Richard's help. He's helped loads of people before. He's done it for himself. He can help me, and he can do it quickly. Um, okay, I'll bite the bullet and make the investment. Um, because it's a false economy to think, I'm going to save the money and figure it out myself. Because if you could be only 20 grand a month, that's a quarter of a million a year. So if it took you six months to figure it out, you still lost 125 grand because you could have done it now. So I don't understand people who are like, oh, I need to save the money. Nah, 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 nah. You know, I've got payment plans available. It's affordable to anyone who wants it. So stop messing around. Don't think I'm going to wait till January. Let's get this fixed now. You could do a couple of weeks of solid work before Christmas and actually start making some money before the new year. And then when January 1st rolls around, you're like, okay, I've got a business now. This is really working. Anyway, that's enough for me now. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back again very soon.